Hi, I'm Janine, one of your instructors at Active Nation Chorley. Teach the yoga classes on a Tuesday morning and a Thursday morning. And I've been asked to put a little program together for you just to do something at home in the comfort of your own lounge. Um, please be aware if you've not attended any classes with me before, these are very simple postures for you to do. Bear in mind any injuries that you have. And if you're pregnant, um, they are safe for you to do. But if you've not previously done yoga, I would suggest not going along with these poses for your own safety. So we're gonna come down into child's pose. Toes together, knees apart. And then just placing your hands down and just give yourself a nice little stretch. Feel as though you're reaching to the top of your mat. Extend through your body and then just let your head come down and release. Take some nice deep breaths, just feeling the muscles working. So you want the muscles working, don't let your arms go like this. So really feel as though you're pushing and pressing with the arms. Feel the length of your arms connecting to your upper back. Take some nice deep breaths here. This is really nice to help release your lower back as well. And then coming onto all fours, separate your feet and then press down in your feet and your hands and squeeze the arm muscles and leg muscles and try and lift your bottom really high. And at the same time as lifting your buttocks high, try to ground your heels to the floor. Now it doesn't matter if you can't get your heels down. Remember, just work at your own limit. If you're new to yoga, it will all feel a bit strange. So just go with the flow. Just try something new. Enjoy yourself in the trying. And then you're going to walk your feet forward. Have your feet wide, especially if your hamstrings are, are tight. You'll need to take a little bit of a wider stance to help your hamstrings. And you can just place your hands on your legs and extend your spine and look forward. So what we're trying to do is get you connected into your upper back muscles here. Our posture is quite rounded usually, so we need to interact with these upper back muscles. So as you look forward, lift your chest, lift your face and extend and look forward. So I really want you to feel these muscles in your back working and broaden, draw your shoulder blades back as well. Good, and really feel that action. And at the same time, I'm gripping up the legs and keeping my feet pressing firmly into the floor. So my legs are really strong to help the structures of my spine. And then lifting yourself up. Good. And then we're going to come into a position of Tadasana, mountain pose. So spreading our feet. So just like you spread your hands, I want you to really work on spreading your feet and pushing down into the floor. And as you spread your feet and connect and push down into the floor, just feel that action, reaction in your legs. Okay. And then feel as though you're extending up and extend to the top of the head to the ceiling and just reach your arms down at the same time. So we're looking at improving our posture for this. So this can be done against the wall, standing back with your heels against the wall. And again, pushing down in your feet, gripping up in your legs. Make sure your shoulders are back. Make sure your hips are back. There will be a natural curve in your spine. And just get used to standing and your head back if possible. Obviously, if you've got quite a rounded posture, you might not be able to get your head back. Yeah, so we're aiming to get longer in our posture. So if I turn sideways on so you can see, if we're quite rounded like this, yeah, the action that we're trying to do is broaden, yeah, but without going like this at the same time. So bringing yourself into this middle point where your ear, shoulder, hip, knee and ankle are all in line. You're pressing down into the floor, you're feeling the response in the leg muscles and you're lifting and extending up through your spine. So just practicing this pose alone will help you. Now, depending on the shape of your feet, if you've got bunions or the shape of your legs or anything like that, you can take this pose with the feet hip width apart. And again, the actions are still the same. If you're pregnant and you just need a little bit of a wider gap, then you're, you're, you stand with your heels underneath your hips. And again, the same things can happen. So working on good posture, connecting your body. So the next one is Hastasana, arms reached up. So shoulders can be stiff, neck can be stiff. So this is to help you release um, your upper body. So just stretching from Tadasana, taking your arms forward and then extend and reach up, lengthen. So what I want you to think about is the extension downwards from your waist and the extension upwards from your waist. So you're making yourself longer, taller. So if I turn sideways on again, lengthening and extending and lifting through the body. 
Okay, so we're trying to get this centre of gravity, not kind of doing this or doing this, just trying to make yourself tall, long and extended. And then bringing the arms down. So again, one that's good for people with stiff wrists, arthritis, you can circle your wrists before you do this. And then interlocking your fingers, having a look at which little fingers at the bottom. And then turn and push your arms to me. Now we're trying to get, I'm going to do this so you can see your arms straight. Now most of you might struggle with this. If you're a weightlifter, if you've been doing a lot of weights, these arms here can be quite tense and tight. Or if you've been sat at a keyboard, your arms are tense and tight. Or if you're a manual handler, you're lifting and carrying, tense and tight arms. So for some of you, it will be really hard to actually straighten those elbows. So this is a really good one to practice. So to help you with that, you can bring yourself down onto all fours. So if again, if I turn slightly sideways onto, you can see. So pressing your palms down, feeling that your arms, and you, you're just trying to spread your hands and get your arms coming in straight to really help you get these arm muscles releasing. So that's one you can practice. And then it can bring you into this one. So again, we're working from Tadasana, so feet are spreading and pushing down mountain pose. Trying to get your arms as straight as you can, lift up, take your arms forward. So again, trying to keep those elbows gripping in towards each other. Yeah, so you can feel the action here in the upper arm. So the inner arm extends to the wrist, and then from the wrist you're drawing back. So there's always a connection in your, your body. Okay, now from here, you extend up and push to the ceiling. So some of you, you will be able to get your arms up, some of you won't. So again, I'm just going to turn sideways on. So if you're trying to get your arms up and your shoulders are stiff, then possibility of you doing this is quite high. So I really want you to check in with how you're working in your feet, to your legs. And if you can't get your arms all the way up, it doesn't matter. Just take them to here and really look at your arms. Are the arms straight? Are you spreading the palms of your hands? It's really good for arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, this one. Yeah, and if you are able to get your arms up, really feel, are you connecting with the arms? Are you pushing through to the palms? And at the same time, extending down into those feet. And then when we've done that one way, so I had my right little finger at the bottom, we change the clasp of the fingers by taking the left little finger at the bottom. Okay, and then again, we do the same action. I'm just moving back because I want you to be able to see me still. So again, the same actions, pushing, pressing, Extend it up for your body. Always work from the base. And again, extend and reach upwards. Feel that length. How far can you stretch? But maintaining that connection throughout, through your body, through your breath. Nice and easy. And then release. Okay. And then a few others you can do to help your shoulders. A lot of us seem to be doing a bit more work on the computer or sat down a little bit more. So these poses will help your back and your shoulders to kind of release a little bit. So you're just gonna take your arms, take your right hand round and then your left hand round and just try to hold your elbows to start with. Now, some of you may not be able to do that. So working here is absolutely fine. But what I want you to think about is opening the chest muscles. So when you're doing this, just roll your shoulders back, lift your chest up. So you're really feeling that these muscles are stretching. As we're sat down, we're kind of doing this. Or if we're sat on the computer, we're doing this. So these muscles are tightening. So I want you to open the muscles. And that comes from rotating in your upper arm. So from here, rotating your shoulders back, lifting your sternum up, lengthening. Okay. When you've done one side, you release. And then you fold the other way. So we always balance our actions out. And we're here. So this is the, the basic version. Those of you who've been coming to class with me and you want to progress, you know the pose, then it's Namaskarasana from here, turning your fingers up, little finger comes into the middle of your back, and then again, you broaden and open. So from the side view, again, if you watch from a rounded position here, I push the palms together, I broaden and open. Okay, from the front, rounded, broaden and open. So all these are about opening your body, correcting your posture, helping you improve, and then release. And then we're going to take a step with our feet apart and have your feet pointing forwards, okay, in a position called Uttita Hasta Padasana. We turn our right leg in, so we our left leg in, our right leg out, and open your chest. 
So again, the action has to come from you pushing into your feet, gripping up in your legs and really broaden. Now all you want to do is extend over, keeping your legs very firm. Reach your hand down to your leg and reach up to the ceiling. You don't have to look up, but those of you who are well practiced and you've been coming to class, you'll know what to do here. Otherwise, just keep looking forward, have a go. Yeah, so you don't have to go uh, very wide, but you do need to look to try and go wrists and ankles width apart if possible. And then we go to the other side. So we turn the right foot in, left leg out, opening the chest. And extend over and come down on the other side. So really feel that connection of your feet, grip up through your legs, open your chest. And again, if you feel you can, because you've practiced with me before, you can look up. You can stay looking forward. And then release. Bring your feet back round. Step your feet back together. Good. Okay, so just to explain a little bit more about yoga, there are many, many styles of yoga that we offer here um, at Active Nation. Um, my style of yoga is Iyengar yoga, so it's quite different. There's lots of different styles out there. Um, there's flowing practice, where you flow one pose to the next to the next. There's more quiet, calming practice. So it doesn't matter. It's all about helping you connect with your body, connect with your breath. And just during this time, just trying to bring everything down, give your body some movement and stretches to do, just to help you keep active and keep open within yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this little lesson and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much.